Hey everyone and welcome to episode 104 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics and other related merchandise arriving in stores on Wednesday, October 24th, 2012. Another great week for comics. Ricky, I know there's a particular book you're looking forward to. Ooh, 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 baby, leave it. And we'll get to that in a little bit. Uh, but for now, I'm going to ask you, sir, to open up some boxes. A lot of comments on last week's video about where Rob is. So like we've said for the last uh, few episodes, Rob's wife had a baby not too long ago. So he's taking some time off from these late nights uh, filming at Stadium to take care of his new son. We got some new t-shirts to show you today. First up is this Spider-Man t-shirt. Cobra Command. For all you Cobra supporters out there. And here we have an Avengers movie shirt. If you notice, it's missing the Black Widow. That That's weird, yeah. You're right, Ricky. It's just got the male cast of the Avengers. What's up with that, Marvel? I think maybe it's geared towards little boys. Little boys don't want girls on their shirts. Well, it's an adult-sized shirt. <laughs> I wonder if it has to do with, like, uh, merchandising. Maybe they couldn't afford to put Scarlett Johansson on the cover of the shirt. Actually, I think that has a lot to do with it, because if you notice, you don't see Robert Downey Jr.'s face on this shirt. You see some guy in an Iron Man mask. That could be anybody, right? That's not Robert Downey Jr.'s image. Here's a cheap costume idea. You want to be Rick Grimes from Walking Dead? Grab this shirt and a uh, cheap sheriff's hat at, at your local party store. Actually, that brings up a good point. If you are looking for a cheap costume for Halloween, your local comic shop might be your best friend. You can go in there, maybe grab like a... A Superman t-shirt or a uh, Green Lantern shirt and uh, you know your costumes pretty much done. Just ask Ricky he's he's dressed up as uh, one of those guys from Adventure Time today. See? Hug life. <laughs> from DC Collectibles we have this Superman bust. Have you ever wondered how much coffee you could fit into a TARDIS? Well you'll have to buy this TARDIS coffee mug to find out. Or I guess tea. Yeah, I guess a lot of people that would be using this TARDIS mug would be drinking tea out of it. That's just the impression that I get. We've got some Mass Effect Play Arts Kai figures. These toys have become quite popular. They're imports from Japan. Uh, the Square Enix company puts them out. Most, most recently they've been doing uh, a line of Batman toys based on the Arkham Asylum games. And uh, here's a look at Ashley Williams. Here is Garrus Varkarian. He's my favorite, Ricky. I don't know about yours, but Garrus has always been a big, uh, you know, he's always had a place in my heart. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know who that is. Cool window box packaging. I know it's hard to see on the camera. And here's the Commander Shepard Play Arts Kai figure. All right, moving on to the collected editions. We have Zombies Christmas Carol, just in time for Halloween and Christmas. We have the first volume of Legion Secret Origin, Wolverine and the X-Men Volume 1, now in softcover. Marvel Tales by Alan Davis reprints uh, a Fantastic Four Daredevil and Wolverine annual, as well as a Thor one-shot. Savage Hawkman Volume 1, now in softcover. X-Factor, together again for the first time. This is Volume 16 of X-Factor. Super Crooks, a series by Mark Millar and Lino Yu, now in hardcover. And then we have the first issue of The Walking Dead official magazine. Uh, I'm expecting this to be a pretty big seller today. All kinds of Walking Dead related interviews and content inside. Uh, if you're a huge fan of Walking Dead, you definitely want to pick this up. And there's even a second cover for those of you uh, diehard collectors out there. All right, moving on to the smaller press books. First up, we have Kiss number five, but it's not your normal Kiss lineup. It's Kiss Girls. Here is the second cover. Star Trek Doctor Who Assimilation Squared reaches issue 6. Here's the Star Trek Doctor Who variant. Ghostbusters 100 page Spooktacular. Who are you gonna call indeed? This is $7.99 and uh, you know for 100 pages that's not a bad price. Where's all the emo fangirls out there? You'll love this cover of Spike, A Dark Place. This is season 9 issue 3. Spike's a cool dude though, seriously. I liked him in Buffy. Xenoscope's Irresistible has two covers this week. Here's the regular cover, and here is a Spider-Man tribute cover. Red Sonja, issue 70. The Simpsons, Bongo Comics presents Maggie, issue 1. Free surprise inside. I'm sold. Grim Fairy Tales, Giant Size, 2012. Grim Fairy Tales Halloween Special, 2012. Cobra, issue 18. 
Thief of Thieves number 8. Walking Dead issue 102 gets a second printing. Hack Slash issue 19. Guarding the Globe number 1 gets a second printing and it's also a wrap cover. How cool is this? Spawn has been doing these uh, tribute covers for its 20th anniversary. This is issue 274 and it's a tribute to Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. Apparently The Dark Knight Returns movie is very good according to one Ricky Lima and he would lend me the Blu-ray of it if I owned a Blu-ray player. I'll check out the VHS version <laughs> a little later this week. Here's the Spawn 224 variant. Revival, the awesome rural noir uh, story from Image Comics, Tim Seeley and Mike Norton uh, sees a whole bunch of reprintings today. This is a fourth printing of Revival number one. It actually is a recoloring of the variant to number one, which is really cool. We've got a third printing of issue number two, a second printing of issue number three, and new on shelves today is issue number four, which I cannot wait to read later today. If you haven't been reading Revival, Maybe today's your chance to go into your local shop and pick up all four issues and read them in one shot. Definitely worth the read. Adventure Time number nine, this is cover A, featuring elderly Jake and Finn. And here's the other cover. New in stores today, Pendleton Ward's next great project. Uh, it is Bravest Warriors, issue number one. Fans of Adventure Time will definitely want to pick this book up. This is set to be uh, Pendleton Ward's next big cartoon series. And uh, you can get it in comics first, starting today. This is issue one. There's a couple of different covers. Here's the first. Here is the second cover, which is a tribute to that Star Wars uh, garbage compactor Death Star scene. This is the 1 in 15 variant. Here is the 1 in 20 variant, which is really cool. Looks like it's a uh, doodle on a classroom notebook. And here's Pendleton Ward's variant, which is a 1 in 30 and a wrap cover. Much like uh, Adventure Time issue one, we expect this book to be a pretty big hit. From from what I've heard, it was severely underordered. I think only 17,000 of them were ended up being printed based on retailer orders. And it's just because retailers are a little out of the loop sometimes and, and don't know what's, uh, what's going to be cool and hip with the kids out there. Luckily, we have guys like Ricky Lima yeah. to let us know <laughs> all about stuff like this. Now, Ricky, if this is a big failure... You realize you're going to lose your job. I didn't tell you to order him. All right. <laughs> but I've read it, and it is awesome. Yeah, you read a uh, New York Comic Con variant, yeah, which... Very carefully. I read it with, um, like, gloves on. and Which I grac graciously picked up for you in New York City and got the, uh, the artist to personalize and <laughs> sign you. for you. Thank you very much for that. So you don't need any more of these <sighs> variants or issues. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Please let our customers uh, get a, a crack customer. at them. Okay, moving on to DC Comics, we have I Vampire, issue 13. Jonah Hex, issue 13. Justice League Dark, number 13. National Comics, Madam X One Shot. Red Lanterns, number 13. Here's the Red Lanterns variant cover. Savage Hawkman, number 13, still under the influence of Rob Liefeld. He was responsible for the plot of this book. Teen Titans, issue 13. Uh, the Bloody Origin of Wonder Girl, one of my favorite all-time characters. And this issue is illustrated by Ali Garza, and I think he's the perfect person to be drawing Teen Titans. Here's the Teen Titans variant. The Flash, issue 13, Guerrilla Warfare. Here's the awesome variant cover by Francis Manipal. Batman Incorporated number 4 seems to focus on Wingman and Redbird. I'm sure that's going to equal lots of sales dollars this week. This is the regular cover. Here is the combo pack cover. And the variant cover featuring Batman and Robin. Superman issue 13. Who is the fallen angel of Krypton? This is by Kenneth Roquefort and Scott Lobdell. This is a prelude to the Hell on Earth event. Here is the variant cover. Here's Dark Knight issue 13. The Dark Knight variant cover. And Talon issue number one. Escape from the Court of Owls. This is the regular cover. And here is the variant. Okay, moving on to Marvel. We've got Ultimate Spider-Man issue number seven. It's got a cover by Ty Templeton, who will be at our Halloween Comic Fest free comic book day this Saturday, October 27th. He'll be signing copies of his two books that are featured as part of the free giveaways for October 27th, and that is the Ultimate Spider-Man free comic and the Batman Adventure free comic. Here is Ultimate's issue 15, a second printing. This is the issue where Steve Rogers is informed that he has won the presidential election. 
Punisher Warzone, a new miniseries by Greg Rucka. This is issue one of five. Here's Secret Avengers issue 33. Incredible Hulk number 15. AVX Consequences issue three. Here's the uh, issue three variant for AVX Consequences. Here's Avengers issue 32. Captain America and Black Widow issue 638. Gambit issue four features some pencils by Leonard Kirk in it, so that's pretty awesome. Extreme X-Men issue five. Here's Astonishing X-Men issue 55, Wolverine number 315, Deadpool number 63, the final issue of FF. Well, final for this volume. It's going to be relaunched under the Marvel Now banner. Ricky, what does FF stand for again? <laughs> Means for your Ep father. Episode 100, people. Check it out. Ricky was asked that same question. Different results. <laughs> Final issue of Captain America. This is issue 19. Uh, again, same situation. It's going to be relaunched. Here is the final issue variant for Cap. It's actually a really cool cover. Here's Iron Man issue 527. The last issue of this volume of Iron Man as well. And uh, this is the regular cover. Here's the final issue variant for Iron Man. We've got Ultimates issue 17. Amazing Spider-Man issue 696. All right, I know a lot of people have been looking forward to this one. It's A Babies versus X Babies, and uh, it's a one shot. This is the Scotty Young cover, and this is the Chris Eliopoulos cover. It kind of follows the same storyline as the AVX series, strangely enough. So if you want a one shot summary with babies, this, this is the book to pick up today. And finally, for Marvel, we have Wolverine Max issue one. This has explicit content in it. It's not like Wolverine the Best There Is, where they say that it's not for kids, and then just censor it all the swear words. This has got the swear words in there. So if you like Wolverine, dropping F-bombs, this is the book for you. And here's the Wolverine Max number one variant. Let's move on to last week's contest. We wanted to know which Marvel Now book were you most looking forward to? The winner was going to get a copy of Marvel Now point one. Thank you once again for all of your great answers. There was a lot of good ones this week. Definitely check out the rest of the comments to see what everyone else is thinking. But the winner was Mike Neal. And uh, he says, I'm most looking forward to All New X-Men by Brian Michael Bendis. I think it will be a really cool idea to see how the past X-Men measure up in contrast to the present X-Men. Specifically past Cyclops and future Cyclops. It should be interesting to see young Cyclops discover that not only in the future is he more like his greatest enemy Magneto, but that he has partnered up with him. And finally, to find out that he killed his mentor and father figure, Professor X. Interesting times and storylines indeed in our future for all new X-Men. We're looking forward to that as well. It comes out, I believe, the second week of November. We're getting ready for a launch party for that, uh, so you should be hearing more about that soon. All right, this week we're going to give away a copy of AVX Babies, and what we want to hear from you is what pop culture property, whether it be comics, movies, or television, or otherwise, would you like to see in the Babies universe? We kind of did this a few weeks back when we talked about the zombie universe. Ricky, what, what property would you like to see represented in the Marvel Babies universe? Uh, probably Unboxing Wednesdays. Oh, yeah, that'd be good cool. choice. Now none of you Unboxing. out there can, can choose Unboxing <laughs> Wednesdays. Bearded babies. That would be scary. That'd be awesome. I think that's your next uh, comic project. Bearded <laughs> Stadium <laughs> Comics bearded employees. Bees. Just a reminder to everyone out there that most of the comics you saw today are available digitally on the same day as their release in print through our website's uh, online comic store. Uh, we've partnered with Comixology to bring you the latest in digital comics. Just go to our website, stadiumcomics.com, head over to the right-hand side of the screen, and you'll see our store for DC Digital Comics and our store for all other publishers. Uh, so click on those links there. If you are going to buy digital, might as well buy from us. It helps us pay for stuff such as Ricky's uh, weekly oil change. <laughs> Every I week. Am, I am a robot. Every week we need to change his oil. It's not like a car where it's like every 5,000 kilometers. or <laughs> I just... spend a lot of oil. <laughs> That's gross. Don't talk about your oil expulsion here <laughs> on, on this family show. We've got a super cool event coming up this weekend. Saturday, October 27th is our Halloween Comic Fest and Free Comic Book Day. Uh, it, free Comic Book Day is now twice a year. How awesome is that? You can go to our website, stadiumcomics.com, for all the details on our event. 
or you can check our Facebook page for all the latest updates. If you're in the Greater Toronto area, you definitely want to come by. We're going to have lots of guest artists here. I have a big artist alley out in the hallway here. We're going to have a huge sale on merchandise in store, and it's going to be fun times for everyone involved, I think. Ricky's launching his book, Deep Sea. If you aren't excited about that, you're not a human being and you don't have a heart. Agreed. This guy is like, he's he's worried. He's worried that he's not going to sell any books. I keep telling him, this book's going to sell. Art's awesome. Writing's awesome. Definitely want to check it out. Um, if there's any if there's any copies left after our True. free comic book day event, there is only a hundred of them. Uh, but they aren't free. No. Lots of comics will be free on free comic book day. But Deep Sea is something you'll have to pay for the pleasure to read. It's true. And it is pleasurable. But you get tons you. of stuff. You get a poster, you get a comic, you get uh, a sketch, you get a poem. Uh, we might be giving away digital copies. Now, are you going to make up a new poem for each one, or yeah. are you just going to re recycle the same poem over new, and over a again? A new poem with a uh, nautical theme. So if you really, really want to test uh, Ricky's uh, poetry abilities, come near the end of the day and buy it. <laughs> because by then he'll have written probably like 50 poems, and he'll be out of ideas. And like the poem you'll get, it's gonna be horrible. That's it's just how it's how it works. I'm sorry. It's all gonna be nautical based too. So. All right. If you're not in the area, go to the Halloween Comic Fest website and see uh, if there's a store that's participating in your local area. All right, everybody. That is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Please remember to check out all the other awesome shows on our channel. You can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen, and we will see you all next week for episode 105. Take care, everyone. Have an awesome week and enjoy your comics.